Welcome to this class, Introduction to the Graphical User Interface and Capturing a 3D CBCT Image. This beginning-level recorded class is designed for clinical team members and provides instructions for capturing a 3D image using the OP3DLX. By the end of this class, you should be familiar with Preparing the Graphical User Interface GUI Preparing and Capturing a Scout Image Capturing a 3D image. Reviewing the quick compose. And saving the image. Let's get started. We'll begin by looking at how to prepare the GUI. To begin, launch DTX Studio or your Twin compatible imaging software. Select the patient. And click the capture icon. Next, under Select Device, click OP3DLX. The Proceed to the Device window displays briefly until the imaging program loads. Once the imaging program is displayed, click the 3D tab. Now, let's look at the different options and how to prepare the GUI for capturing a 3D image. The Ortho Select Dental Chart is used to select the region of interest, ROI, for the 3D scan. The field of view changes automatically according to the selections. You can select the teeth or region, such as a single tooth, or a range of teeth. You can select the jaw with all the teeth included, or the temporomandibular joints. Note, selecting both left and right TMJ in the same image is only available with the 12 by 15 or 15 by 20 field of view. You can also select the maxillary sinus, frontal sinus, or the whole dentition by double-clicking any single selection, tooth, jaw, or TMJ. Undo the Select All by double-clicking the selection to return to the previous state. Clear all selections by clicking the gray area on the lower corners of the dental chart. Now, let's look at the first icon on the left, called the Field of View Size Selection icon. This icon indicates the currently selected field of view, represented by size, in height times dimension. To change the field of view size, click the icon to display the list of available options. The available sizes are 5x5, 8x8, 6x9, 10x10, 12x15, and 15x20, depending on the configuration of your device. For this example, we'll select the lower jaw, upper jaw, left and right TMJ, and the maxillary sinus. The skull on the GUI illustrates an approximate coverage of the selected field of view. It's important to note that you should use the Ortho Select Dental Chart as the primary method for selecting the field of view. Also note, the list of available FOV sizes depends on the device configuration and country specification. To learn more about the different clinical applications for the field of view sizes, visit Dexis.com. Next is the image resolution selection. The resolution affects the image quality and radiation dose to the patient. Click the image resolution icon to display the list of available options. The available image resolutions are low, standard, high, and endo. Please note that endo resolution is available only when the 5x5 field of view is selected. For recommendations on resolution selection, see the OP3D LX user manual. For this example, we'll use the default, standard resolution. The next icon is used for capturing a scout image. We'll cover this section later in this course. Now, let's look at the patient size selection icon. To change the patient size, click the icon. The available sizes are small, 
medium, and large. This selection should be made based on the patient size, and the KV and MA preset levels will adjust accordingly. For this example, we'll use the medium patient size selection. The last icon is the test mode icon. Click the icon to place the unit in test mode. Note, the radiation values will change to zero and x-rays will not be emitted during test mode. Test mode can be used to demonstrate the device movements and to ensure the rotating device doesn't make contact with the patient during the imaging process. It can also be used with patients who might feel insecure, or for patients with exceptional anatomy, for example, very tall or large patients. Finally, let's look at the status message bar, which is divided into two sections. The message bar and the device status indicator. The message bar provides messages and guidance to the user. The device status indicator shows the status of the device with a colored indicator. Green indicates the device is ready for imaging. Gray indicates the device is not ready for imaging and you should follow the instructions on the status message bar. Yellow indicates the device is generating x-rays. And blue indicates the device is in an error state or pending user actions and details will be shown on the status message bar. Now that we've described how to prepare the GUI, let's move on to the next section in this course. Preparing and capturing a scout image. A scout image is taken to verify and perform adjustments to the field of view position and height before initiating a full 3D scan. By default, the scout image is always active when taking 3D images. Clicking the Scout Image icon will deactivate and activate it. When the Scout Image program is active, the Field of View Coverage Illustration turns green, and the Status Message Bar Device Status Indicator will indicate Ready for Scout. Prepare the patient for the procedure by asking the patient to remove all metal objects, including earrings, necklaces, glasses, hair pins, and all removable appliances from above their shoulders. Properly place a protective lead apron over the patient in accordance with local regulations. Once the patient has been positioned, press and hold down the exposure button to acquire the scout image. Remember to protect yourself from radiation in accordance with local safety guidelines and regulations while also maintaining visual contact with the patient during the exposure. The radiation symbol and lighting on the unit will indicate exposure. The SmartView 2.0 Scout image is shown on the GUI after the Scout image has been taken. In this view, you can fine-tune the field of view, size, and position for the actual 3D image. Ensure the region of interest ROI, is in the middle of the volume. Now, let's learn about fine-tuning the region of interest. Use the Height Adjustment icon to adjust the height of the field of view. Use the right slider icon to adjust the field of view position in the left and right direction. And, use the left slider icon to adjust the field of view position in posterior anterior direction. You can adjust the brightness of the image using the brightness slider. Please note that adjustments are not saved to the preview image. You can adjust the contrast of the image preview using the contrast slider. Again, adjustments are not saved to the preview image. Once you've made your adjustments to the scout image, click the OK button to approve the changes made to the field of view location and size, and to proceed to capturing your 3D image. If an additional scout image is required, simply hold down the exposure button to acquire the new image. Now that we've described how to prepare and capture a scout image, let's move on to the next section. Now, let's capture the 3D image. The device will prepare the image, and the status message bar will display the message, processing the image, please wait. A preview image of the 3D scan displays on the GUI for review. Now, let's move on to the next section. Reviewing the Quick Compose. First, we'll see a preview of your 3D image. The preview is called the Quick Compose 2.0. This low-resolution image is shown on the GUI after the image has been taken. 
The Quick Compose is divided into two sections, the Slice Preview and the Volume Preview. The Slice Preview can be projected in three different views, Coronal, Sagittal, and Axial. The image has indications from which direction the image is shown. A, P, for anterior, posterior, L, R, for left, right, and H, F, for head, foot. Here, the axial view indicates A, for anterior, and R, for right. We'll look at the other direction indicators on the different views next. Click the first slice preview projection icon to display the coronal view. Here, we'll see H, which indicates the head foot view. The next icon is used to display the sagittal view. Here, we'll see H, which indicates the head foot view. The last icon is used to display the axial view. Again, here we'll see A, which indicates the anterior view, and R, which indicates the right view. You can scroll through any of the previews using the slider on the right side of the image. In the rendered volume view on the right, you can rotate the preview using the slider on the right side of the image. You can adjust the brightness of the shown image preview using the brightness slider. And, you can adjust the contrast of the shown image preview using the contrast slider. Finally, it's important to note that any adjustments made in the Quick Compose are not saved to the preview image. Now, let's move on to the next section. In our last section in this course, let's look at saving the image we just captured. Once you've finished your review using the Quick Compose and you're satisfied with the data captured in the 3D scan, click the OK button to complete the image acquisition and save the image. Close the imaging program by clicking the X in the upper right corner. Click Finish to return to the DTX home screen. You are now finished. You can now release the temple supports and guide the patient out of the Dexus OP3DLX. Remember to remove all disposable covers and decontaminate the device and the patient positioning accessories. Now, you should be familiar with preparing the GUI, preparing and capturing a scout image, capturing a 3D image, reviewing the quick compose, and saving the image. Congratulations! You have completed this course. If you have any comments or questions, please contact us at training at